Okay, great job uh, again. Last night I think I went through and checked all the homework. Special good Mr. Dan was not here and did all of his work, um, and he was able to use the YouTube video. That's what this is for. All right, that's why we record everything. Now, um, some people said they might have a question with a couple of last ones. So somebody specifically tell me which one. 45. All right, let's take a look at 45. All right. It says, uh, Domingo decided to save three cents the first day and triple the amount he saves each day. How much will he save on the seventh day? All right. So he's starting with three cents, right? And then how many days are we worried about? So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven is my answer. Do you agree with that? And you triple. What does triple mean, though? Uh, times, by three. times by three. So if you save three cents the first day, what? Wait, but if it means on the seventh day, wouldn't it only be six spots? That's good. We kind of discussed this yesterday, though. I mean, you have a point. I'm, I can't even argue with you. But I'm going to go back here and say, um, and I'll read it one more time. You actually, it is different. I think you're right, actually, this time. Yeah, Very good. It says the first day. That's right. It says the first day, is, except for the other time, it didn't say that. Is everybody with me now? Yeah. He's 100% correct. That's why you just have to read really carefully. All right, that was excellent work, by the way. All right, so let's go back to my notes here where I was at. Instead of being seven, we really only need what now? Six. Which is nicer because that's one less times three we have to do. All right. So on the second day it would be what? Uh, not really answer, but would you mark that on the test if they do put? Yeah, I would. That's why I said you're gonna have to read carefully. We're gonna practice. All right, so you're gonna be okay. So when you triple it, it would be on the second day how much? Nine. Nine cents. On the third day. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven cents. On the fourth day. 81 cents. Good. On the fifth day. Come on, guys. You guys should have your paper out. You should have your paper out. $2.43. You're awesome. $2.43. Alright. Might as well finish it up. $7.29. And then $21.87. I'm really proud of you, buddy. That was nice work. Very good. Is everybody with me on that? You're just multiplying by three. All right, don't be lazy now. You should have multiplied those by three. Yeah, 87. All right, very nice. Does anybody else want me to go over another one of those? Can you do 44? Oh, I mean 43. 43? Yeah, let's do that. All right, so 7 cubed is 7 times 7 times 7, right? Mm -hmm. Now here's how, here's how I do that. All right, so 7 times 7 is 49. Now we have to do 49 times 7, right? Please listen to me on this. I'm going to show you how to multiply quickly. All right, 49 times 7, I'm going to do 50 times 7. What's 50 times 7? That was easy. But since I'm counting by 7s, I counted one extra 7. Do you agree? Mm -hmm. So everybody here should be able to tell me what's 350 minus 7. Oh, it's 343. That's correct. 343. Isn't that easier, guys? Mm -hmm. That was a good way of multiplying. All right, whenever you're multiplying by like 19 or 29 or 39 or 49, it's easier just to count 50 and then subtract 1. Does that make sense? All right. Now, 5 to the 4th. So on this one, here's what I want to do. 5 times 5 times 5 times 5, right? So this would be what? And this would be what? Now, what do you think is true? Do I really feel like multiplying that out even though I know it's 625? Is it necessary to multiply it out? No, because we know it's what? We know it's going to be greater. Does everybody agree with that? Yeah. We should know that 25 times 25 is greater than 49 times 7. <coughs> everybody happy with that? Mm -hmm. All right, so I would just say, boom. I would know right off the bat that's greater. 
All right, is everybody good with that now? All right, that should be good for that page then, right? Can we jump then over to the next section? All right, so the next section is going to be section 1.4. Right, and to be honest, I think our homework here, um, I may have to look that up real quick. All right, now again, remember, the idea is to help me make you better with numbers. That's the whole objective, all right? Now, does everybody have their paper headed? Come on now. We're on page, what was it, page 20, and we're doing 1 through 39. So make sure you head your paper. And we're just going to kind of, I'm going to go through 1 through 10, and then we'll start doing the, probably do the odds, all right? Probably give you a break today. All right? So. First thing I want everybody to remember is tell me what 10 squared is. 100, right? And then when you multiply that by 15, it would just be what? A 15 with how many zeros? The exponent tells you the number of zeros, right? So the answer is just 1,500. All right, I need you to be with me now. Now, again, I, I really like the way it's up on the board, so if you're looking at me like you can't read something, you've got to let me know, right? That way you don't have to have your book open. And actually, honestly, I feel like telling you this, guys. If you want to leave your book at home, you could. Because any day we need the book, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to project it up on the screen. Um, I already did this one. Good. In your head. Just make sure it's correct then, okay? All right? So now, let's look at number two. What would the answer to number two be? Well, tell me, what I want you to do, Carly, is I want you to tell me what number do we start with? Shh, I want 12, then how many zeros? So you would just do one, two, three, four, and then you would try to tell me the number. You have me on that? So what would that be? Yeah, 120,000. All right. Miss Connery, you're up. What would I do for that? <coughs> Right, that's exactly right. Exactly. All right, you know what else? I forgot to take the roll real quick. I have to do that. So, sorry about that. Now let's get back to work. All right, number four. Tell me, Mr. Bradley. Let's move it over. So what am I going to do now? That's all you're doing. Adding seven zero. So one, one, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven zeros. Let's try to figure out what that number is, though. All right? So all we're doing is... Oh, oh, oh. What Bradley tried to tell me. That's right. Not 13. Now read this number. Look up on the... Read that number. There you go. That's it. 1,130,000,000. Why would you put the 1? Um, well, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Like, you sure? Okay, don't worry about it. All right, all right, so I'm happy with that. Now, uh, write each number in scientific notation. So, scientific notation is a number written like this, guys. Look up 4.2 times 10 to the fifth. That would be in scientific notation. All right, let me give you another example. 8.9 times 10 to the 15. That would be in scientific notation. Usually we use scientific notation when the number is really big or the number is really small. 
And really small, I mean like 0 0.0000052. Really small or really big. All right? So now, let me show you something that's not written in scientific notation. This is not written in scientific notation. 47 times 10 to the third. The reason it's not is because of the decimal. Listen to me carefully. The decimal has to go after the first non-zero digit. So if it was 4.7. Then if it was 4.7, that would be correct. Thank you. Yes. Well, hold on one second. All right. Now, this is not written in scientific notation either. If I write, for example, 0.62 times 10 to the fourth. Because, again, the decimal is what? Not in the right spot. Is everybody with me? So to put the decimal in the right spot, I will just move it over there. Now is it written in scientific notation? Yes. All right. So now, without any help, you're going to try to do write number five in scientific notation. Or right, what do you think it would be? You are awesome, buddy. 3.6 times 10 to the what? What if I told you it was 6? Oh, yeah. Because the decimal goes here. Please watch. It's super easy. The decimal goes here. Now, how many places did you move it? Oh. Right. That's how easy. That's very, very, very simple. Very simple. All right, hold on a second. I'm going to let, I'm gonna let Jack, Mr. Brennan, right? I want you to help me out with number 6. Yep. Yeah. Two, two point. Two point one four. You just don't do the zeros. You with me? Nine. Ten to what power? Nine to uh, You're awesome, buddy. Perfect. Two point one four times ten to the fifth. So is it like? Oh, so two point four. So like. Two point one four. Alright, 2.14. Okay. Alright, we're going to practice. We've got lots of practicing. Right, because the decimal's here, right? Yeah. You just count to the end. Oh, okay. That's all there is. Alright, number seven. Eight. Now, if you wanted to, you could put 8.0, but is that necessary? No. No. Times. Eight times nine. You're awesome. Eight point oh times ten to the nine. Is everybody happy with that one? Yeah. You're up. Number eight. I'll get you in a minute. Wait, what was eight point oh? Oh. It would be four times three times ten to the third power. Ten to the what? Third power. Double check me. Shh, leave them alone. The decimal is here, right? There you go, buddy. Good job. That's it. Everybody happy with that? Oh, it's so math is so easy. Math is very easy. Just gotta listen, 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 listen. All right. Now this one's kind of obnoxious. I may not even make you do that. So if you want to write the number in standard form, how many zeros would there be after two? Do you, you really think I'm going to make you write 21 zeros? That's dumb, isn't it? But you have to tell me what it is, right? It's a 2 with how many zeros? I'm not. I'd have to count them. I'm not counting 21 zeros, right? Everybody agree with it? What number would that be? Well, actually, I don't even know. Right off the top of my head. Because after you get to billions and trillions, then there's like quad stuff, and they just there's all different kinds of things. Quintillions in there, that's right. All right, so on the next one now, um, so here we go. Now, this I want to write, all right? So how many places do I have to move the decimal? How many places do I have to move the decimal? That's what the exponent is for. I have to move it seven places, right? So we're going to move the decimal seven places, and I'm going to show you something. Everybody pay attention. 
because that's why the iPad is so nice. I'm getting ready to move the decimal. How many places I'm moving it? How many? One. So now I'd have to do, right? Does everybody see that? So let's go back now. It was here, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If you run out of spaces, you just simply have to do what? Add zeros. All right? So now let's try the next one. So the next so that's what that number is, which would be what? Forty nine million five hundred and twenty eight thousand. What right? number is this twelve? Right. This is number ten. Uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I don't want you, I said you don't have to do that one. I don't want to make you write 21 zeros. That's kind of silly. Right? So I'm saying I don't feel like making you write. I think I missed Guys, 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 guys. You're, the reason you have questions is because you're not listening to me. Listen to what I'm telling you. I said for number nine, I'm not going to make you write out 21 zeros. Who's going to sit and write two? One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm not doing that. Right? I don't feel like doing 21 zeros. I can count to 21. You can count to 21. So we don't need to count to 21 zeros. Right? That's why I said don't worry about number 9. Number 10 is kind of important, though. Now I'm doing Mars. How many places am I going to have to move the decimal on Mars? Thank you, Carly. All right? So I'm going to move it six spots. One, two, three, four. So, Carly, how many zeros do I have to add? Two. That's right, kiddo. Very good. Zero, zero. And now I can continue moving this all the way to the end, or we don't even need it anymore. Everybody happy with that explanation? So, who is bigger, Neptune or Mars? Neptune. Right, write down Neptune. Come on now, I'm trying to get all your homework done for you, so you got to do it with me, okay? I don't want you staring. I want you focusing in. And you don't have to do just like what the numbers were and just follow along the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm not, I don't want you to write it down. Right? You write the answer down. All oh, right? Oh. You know, I, I know, that. I know, that's okay. I, I, I said that yesterday. Like, if it requires work, we're going to write the work out, but this is just. Do you understand? Do you agree with me? Yeah, I, I just wanted to write down something. Yeah, so like, no, no, that's okay too. So like number 11. What do I have to do for number 11? Um, <coughs> yeah, what do I have to do with 21 with how many zeros? Um, two. That's what you're saying, right? Don't be sorry. That's good. That's good. All right. No, I'm just, I, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna we're just gonna get them all done. All right, because I I thought it'd be harder. All right, I'll let you do. Well, here, let's do this. Let's start over here and just go around the room. All right, we'll just go around the room. All right, so Carly, you start with twelve. What would I? What would it be? I know what you. Mean. Perfect. All right, next. Um, we would do like down here, all the way back down here. Perfect. Everybody happy with that? Gavin? Look at 40 now. This one might throw you off. What do I have to do? Add four zeros to 40. So that's right. That's right. That's right. Good. Very good. All right, Jack. You add three zeros to 268. Yep. Exactly. Those are very easy. Well, this one's kind of obnoxious, but go ahead. Okay. So, how can you do this? With? Is that okay? Everybody good? Mm -hmm. All right, next. 
We're gonna. Uh, I think you want one too. Oh yeah, two hundred and eleven million. There you go. Five hundred thousand. Perfect. Perfect. Ooh, this one's a good one. What do you think? For eighteen. Wait, you're up. Mr. List. That's it. You're awesome. I, I have a question. Sure. If you explain what you do, it's not added. That's why anything to the zero power is that number. Okay. I mean, well, we're going to talk about that later. So, is that okay? With you? you would add zero zeros. Is there anything with the zero power? No, you don't have to worry about that. Okay. No, we're going right in order. You're up 19. You have to put that in scientific notation, so what would that be? Oh, 19. So, it would be 4, 8, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, Yes, sir. Good. Oh, uh, uh, one point sixty one hundred. Uh, five, ten, to the power of four. Here's the decimal. When you move it to the end, how many places do you move? That's the answer. Okay. How do you know if you put the decimal in the spot or You always put it after the first digit. This four is the first digit. So it always goes there. Yes. Okay. Um, They're trying to trick you. So these don't even matter. 52.000 is the same as 52. So what would it be, Mr. Dan? Yes, we're on 23. Shh, shh, shh. Because they don't matter. The zeros after the decimal don't change anything. One. Because I moved it to the end. That's why it's a one. You understand that or not? You sure? What? I'll, I'll go back. I'll go back. Just we just did this problem. Don't. I need you. Everybody understand twenty three now. Yes. Put your pencil on your hand. Get to work. All right. Sorry, Bradley. Let's go back to twenty one. You get to do twenty one. What's that? Good. You can say 3.0. You're awesome. All right, back over. 6.0. You mind if I say right?
You're awesome. Yeah. All right, next. 24. Now, um, we're, I'm, I, I, I want to do this now, guys. Cross out. I don't, you can omit 24. I'm not, that's a little trickier. Okay, so I, I don't really care about 24. All right, we're just going to do straightforward. So you do 25 now. 8.9. Yes, good job. Um, so again, we can omit 26. All right. All right, Gavin, we'll start you with 29. Yeah, just yeah, just do what I'm doing. Come on, 29. No. Oh, oh, oh. It's You're awesome. Do we agree that's a four? Yeah, well, it's the same thing. They're just kind of helping us. All right, Jack. Group. Perfect. Um, so it would be three, two, three. This tells you how many places it's easy. Now, listen, this means how many places you move the decimal. You move it twice, do you agree? So it's right here. One, two. So it's just 340. You're on this? All right, the exponent is the number of places that you move the decimal. You happy with that explanation? All right. All right. Aiden, yes. You're awesome, buddy. Five. Next. Carter. How many places do you move the decimal? Good job. With how many zeros? Because? When you moved it over once, right? Mm -hmm. So that means you only had to move it seven more times, right? Mm -hmm. So you need seven zeros. Which is what number? Do you know? All right, Lee, you're up. Okay, number 34. Okay, so. You're awesome, buddy. That's right. Exactly right. Now, 35, is that yes or no? It's 35 written in scientific notation. Everybody. No, no, no. no. Decimal has to be. So, that's right. Does everybody see that? So that's definitely a no. No. It's 36 written in scientific notation. Yes. Of course it is. Well, it would just be 1.0. It's the same as There we go. So 36 is definitely yes. 37. Yes. <coughs> 
decimal would have to be after the three. Oh, yeah. See, that's right now. Okay, so first I want everybody to write down the number 980 million. Everybody has to write 980 million. Let's see if you can write that properly. All right, so see if you agree with me. You might get that? Yeah. yeah. 980 million. Is everybody okay with that? Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. Now we have to write it in scientific notation, though. Let's go. Okay, so. So, 9.8 <coughs> um, times 10. Um, You're awesome, girl. 9.8 times 10 to the 8. Is everybody pretty happy with that? Yes. yes. Guess yes. what? We did it. The end. We are done. Pack up and talk. Yeah. That's what I want to do.